Good morning, everybody. My name is Jennifer Ropiak. I run precious metals derivatives at NYSE Life US, the US futures exchange of NYSE Euronext. Today, I'm here with JJ Kinahan, chief derivative strategist at TD Ameritrade. JJ, if I wanted to open a futures trading account, what are some of the issues I should be thinking about? Well, first of all, the I think one of the most important issues is many retail traders who open accounts also have stocks, uh, options. They have, you know, futures are a part of most retail traders' accounts. So if you're going to do that, I think one of the nice things is to have a place where you can see all your trades as one. You can manage your position. You don't have to be switching back and forth to understand what's going on with your money. Uh, a few other things I think you should definitely look for, ease of use of the platform overall. You know, can I do things in one or two clicks? Does, is there a lot of different charting uh, you know, options so I can look at things in a different way if I want to? Some of the other things, obviously cost is always important, uh, but the absolute rock bottom cost may not always be what you want. Is there some customer service if I have a problem? And one of the things that you have to understand is all the fees. So you have to look beyond just commissions. Our, I would compare it to a phone bill. They say your phone bill or your cable bill is like $59 a month. Yet when you get done looking at the infrastructure fee, the fee because we can charge a fee, and all the other fees, it all of a sudden was $118. You're like, hold on, I thought that was $59 a month. So if there are platform fees and other fees involved, you really have to compare apples to apples. It's a total package, not just the one commission because you're going to probably need some customer service at some time and it's great to have smart people to bounce ideas off of. Okay, sounds great. Now, if I'm already trading stocks, I'm already trading options, why should I consider adding futures to my trading portfolio? Well, I, I, that's a great question, Jennifer, and it's just so interesting because I think futures were almost vilified in many ways for the retail trader for many years. What we're starting to see more and more of is that people realize that futures are a wonderful vehicle. You know, right, right here you have this mini gold product. It's great for people who want to hedge, uh, you know, inflationary risks, or perhaps they want to be involved in gold. They don't necessarily want to put as much into the big product because it's a bigger capital requirement. They can still be part of that market without having to commit as much. Again, there, are, there aren't the uh, three day for people who have smaller accounts. There is a rule about making three trades uh, in a, in a week if you have less than $25,000. That doesn't apply in the futures world, but it does apply in the securities world. JJ Kenahan, thank you very much Jennifer, for coming to visit us. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having me.